happiness. Real happiness requires meaning, a sense of fairness, acceptance, achievement, intimacy, relationships, spirituality, connecting to something bigger than yourself. And that same research has shown that only 10% of our potential happiness comes from our life circumstances. And a massive 50% of our potential happiness comes from our parents, and their parents, and their parents before them, and all the way up the line. In other words, it's genetic. We all have a happiness set point. And 40%, what I call the 40% solution of our potential happiness comes from within. From the things we choose to think about, the things we choose to do each and every day. And the first tool in this toolkit of inner happiness and well-being is cultivating gratitude. Epictetus, the philosopher, said, he is a wise man who does not grieve for that which he is not, but instead rejoices for that which he has. Gratitude is not just about simply having good manners, but saying please and thank you. It's thank you with meaning. It's appreciating all those little things, all those small human kindnesses, that at the end of the day aren't so little. And cultivating gratitude creates meaning and value in everyday relationships and situations, putting us on an upward spiral. It's a conscious choice to focus on what's present and working in our lives, rather than what's absent and ineffective. It's the cornerstone of an unstoppable attitude. And for every gardener in the audience who knows how a rose has to be watered and fed and cultivated, so too does gratitude need to be nurtured and protected. You see, the art of true gratitude is learning to want what you have right now, 